Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the Fitness Goddess K here. I'm going to be discussing today how to get abs in just six months. Not five years, not one year, but six months. All it takes is a little bit of discipline and being consistent and you can make it happen for yourself. It does require, you know, some effort and a little bit of time in the gym, but if you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you, you will get these results. I'm about to show you guys a picture of what my stomach looked like right after I had my son. And now my stomach looks like this. I didn't let the photo discourage me because I already programmed my brain to adapt to a new lifestyle after having my son so it made it that much easier for me when it comes to wanting to get abs or to get in shape or to make yourself look your best or to make yourself look better or take yourself to another level you have to adjust the way you think how do I make your stomach go like this in six months first Calculate your macros. Diet is 80% of the challenge when it comes to getting abs. I'm sure you've all heard people say abs are made in the kitchen. Abs are made in the kitchen. Kitchen first, guys. Kitchen first. Okay. I can say one thing that did help me was following people on Instagram. There's so much fitness motivation on Instagram. In fact, you guys can follow me in my journey at the Fitness Goddess K on Instagram. I post workouts, I post weight loss tips, and just in case you guys want to know what's going on with me and how I'm doing on my journey. Okay, so I'm a mesomorph. That is my body type. It is very smart to go out and do some research and find out what your body type is because it helps you understand how your body reacts to certain foods and what type of diet you should be eating. Everybody's different. There's ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and endomorphs. I'm a mesomorph. Mesomorphs gain fat fast, but we also lose it extremely fast too. So, my macronutrient breakdown is 40% protein, 35% carbs, 25% fats. To calculate your macros, I suggest and recommend that you go to II fym.com and use their calculator. Once you've got that information, you need to download an app like MyFitnessPal so you can accurately input and track your macros. Um, also, be sure to take a multivitamin and a fiber supplement because nine times out of ten, one, you're not eating enough, you know, nutrient dense foods. I mean, you know, you can eat clean and eat so many vegetables and you know, all the healthy, natural foods that come from the ground as possible and sometimes still rarely meet your 100% daily values for your micronutrients every single day. Fiber is also very important. I have to take a fiber supplement so that I can meet my daily requirement for it. Two, eat clean. Eat clean, whole foods that are high in fiber but low in fat. Okay, eliminating processed foods and foods high in sodium will give you a better chance of losing the fat and weight instantly. It'll just fall off of you. The thing with abs is it's about lowering your body fat percentage. That's what people fail to understand. You can be super duper skinny and still not have abs. You see people who are skinny but don't have abs. You see people that do ab exercises, all these ab challenges on... <laughs> on the internet, but they never end up with abs at the at the end of it. And not saying that, you know, they don't get a stronger core, but they don't have abs. Why? Because they didn't lower their body fat percentage. I actually have a video that I made previously, and you can download a clean foods grocery list, and it's still available. Um, You guys, it would also be smart to eliminate as much salt as possible. Too much sodium will cause you to retain water, and it'll give you a bloated look, like you're, you know, on your period. It'll give you that look like it's that time of the month, ladies. Okay? Drink, drink at least a gallon of water a day. It 
aids in the elimination of water weight. It aids in your digestion. It boosts your energy levels. It makes your skin clearer. It suppresses your hunger cravings. I mean, the, the benefits of water are endless. You should be drinking it all day long. All day long. I mean, the easiest way for me to do it is I went out and I bought a 74-ounce a jug. So that's, you know, the all I need is to go through that jug twice, and that's it. I got my water for the day. It makes it that much easier. So do not skip the gallon. Drink a gallon of water a day. Four, protein. Meeting your daily protein requirement is very important for weight loss and for muscle gain. It also helps you curve your appetite and it stops cravings, especially in women. There's been so many studies done that indicate that people who are on a high protein diet have a tendency to lose weight faster because they're satisfied. Um, you can meet your daily pro protein requirement with, you know, with meats and things like that. Meats, Greek yogurt, you know. But for most of us, we need a supplement. A lot of us need a supplement. So there's some people that can naturally get their protein from food all day long, but some of us prefer supplements because we just don't like to eat a whole lot of meat. Um, I recommend that you take whey protein, post-workout, and casein protein before bed. Your body absorbs the whey protein faster. Whey protein is a fast-acting protein, so prior to you working out, it is best to take that within 30 minutes to an hour of working out. Casein protein, however, it's slow acting. So the best time for you to take it is when you're resting. Or when you're about to go to bed is the best time to take the casein protein. High intensity interval training. I'm sure you've heard the saying, work smarter, not harder. High intensity interval training burns more fat and calories in a shortened amount of time. If you're running on the hamster wheel for hours, stop, stop, stop. I used to do so much cardio and I just hit a plateau. Hours, 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 okay? And it didn't do anything. So you should do cardio for no more than 25 minutes or 45 minutes max in a gym session. There are so many workouts or there's so many high intensity interval training workouts out there on the internet. Google some. There's some amazing ones out there. Or you could also email me at thefitnessgoddessk at gmail.com and I can provide you with some of the ones that work best for me. Six, weight training. Ladies, 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 listen up because this one is for you. Yes, this one is definitely. For you. Lifting weights builds lean muscle mass. And for some reason, ladies, for some reason in your mind you have this idea that if you lift weights you're gonna look like this. No! No! If, if anything, you'll look like this. And even that takes extreme discipline. Which, honestly, in my opinion, you know, it really depends on what you're looking for and the type of body that you have. But, honestly, I don't believe women should be under, you know, 12% body fat unless they're training for competition. Which I feel is okay and I completely support that. Lifting weights builds lean muscle mass. More muscle mass means more calories burned. More calories burned equals weight loss and fat loss. Hello! Which is how your abs will show. Okay, doing cardio is great for your cardiovascular system, but if you want to add shape to those curves and tone those flabby areas and, you know, fill in some of that loose skin from having a baby, you need muscle. You need to build lean muscle. You know, most loose skin problems that come from pregnancy can be fixed. Now, it's a little different when you you've been overweight your entire life and say you you were like 
you know, 100 pounds overweight and then you lost that 100 pounds. Nine times out of ten, your skin, you know, you may just have a little bit of loose skin, but nine times out of ten, you'll have to get your loose skin surgically removed. However, most mothers that have had babies can fix their problem by lifting weights. So, I hope this was helpful, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, follow me on Instagram at the Fitness Goddess K. Also, if you're interested in meal plans, online coaching, send me an email to the Fitness Goddess K at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.